Meghan Markle made her first husband agree to a pregnancy contract to make sure that she was afforded every possible luxury if she gave birth to their child. Why has Meghan Markle, once hailed as a breath of fresh air in the British royal family, become one of the most polarizing figures of our time? From her background as an American actress to her perceived violations of royal protocol, Meghan Markle's actions have sparked intense backlash and scrutiny from various notable individuals. In this video, we will explore the various reasons why the Duchess of Sussex has become a lightning rod for criticism and controversy. From famous faces who've publicly slammed her to others who've thrown shade with a subtle smirk, we're counting down celebrities who hate Meghan Markle. Let's begin with one celebrity who doesn't only dislike Meghan Markle, but is quite obsessed with his hate campaign against her. 15. Piers Morgan. Let's begin with one celebrity who doesn't only dislike Meghan Markle, but is quite obsessed with his hate campaign against her. The one and only Piers Morgan believes Meghan is a narcissistic fraud and a manipulative, attention-seeking hypocrite. The feud between Piers Morgan and Meghan Markle has been quite public and nasty. He's been trashing her in the media and on social media, and it's clear he's got a serious grudge. He's even called her a liar multiple times. Piers and Meghan became friends in 2016 after she messaged him on Twitter and met for drinks in London. However, they never spoke again after she met Prince Harry and even stopped returning Piers' calls. Piers labelled her a slight social climber due to this. In 2021, Piers Morgan stormed off the Good Morning Britain set after his comments about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Oprah Winfrey interview sparked an Ofcom controversy. Piers criticises her decision to leave the royal family and move to the United States, calling her selfish. He also accused her of lying in her Oprah interview and even dissed her Netflix documentary and Harry's book. Alex Beresford, Piers' colleague, has called him out, suggesting his bitterness stemmed from Meghan ghosting him. Despite this, Piers hasn't stopped the accusations and criticism against the Duchesses of Sussex. In one instance, Piers claimed he didn't believe a word Meghan said, even about her mental health struggles. He strongly believes that she's pulling Prince Harry away from his family, stating, there's no way they would be happy living alone in that mansion. Does Piers' hate stem from being hurt and rejected, or does he genuinely dislike the things Meghan said and did? What do you think? 14. Wendy Williams. Up next, we have Wendy Williams, who also has a very public feud with the Duchess. In December 2017, she mentioned that the Duchess of Sussex once tried to get a job on William's talk show, saying she's a bit of a wild card. You know, because she goes from being the deal or no deal girl. Oh yes, she opened the suitcases for, what's his name? Howie Mandel. So this girl is looking for fame, you guys, okay? In an interview, Meghan said, when I first met Harry, my friends were so excited. My US friends were happy because I was happy, but my British friends were sure he was lovely, but they said I shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. I just didn't get it. After playing that clip, Williams weighed in on Meghan's statements in a video clip published by the Daily Mail. Meghan, nobody feels sorry for you, Williams stated. You knew what you were signing up for, girl. Yes, you did. You knew exactly what you were doing, the former talk show host said on an episode of Wendy. And I applaud her plot on the royal situation. But please, don't try to garner sympathy from us. You knew what you were doing. William's dislike for Meghan runs deep. Back in November 2016, when it was first revealed that Meghan was dating Prince Harry, the host predicted a breakup, saying, There's way too much drama with her, and this will not work out. It's not her. It's going to be the family. The family's going to mess it up. And while the couple is still married today, it seems Meghan's previous marriage keeps haunting her. 13. Her ex-husband. The book Meghan, A Hollywood Princess by Andrew Morton 
has sparked controversy with its claims about Meghan Markle's behavior in ending her first marriage. According to Morton, Meghan was ruthless in her approach to ending her marriage to Trevor Engelson, with one friend describing Trevor's feelings as being like a piece of something stuck to the bottom of her shoe. In 2013, after two years of marriage, Markle surprised her husband by unexpectedly sending her wedding and engagement rings back to him. At the time, she was living in Toronto for work, filming Suits. The decision to return the rings was sudden and seemingly came out of nowhere. According to Morton, Engelson was completely caught off guard by the abrupt end of their relationship. Sources close to Engelson have revealed that he is struggling to contain his deep-seated anger, even after all these years. Although he has remained silent on the issue, Engelson is currently spearheading the production of an exciting new comedy show for Fox, which bears a striking resemblance to his own personal experiences. The show's intriguing description reads as follows. Divorce is undeniably challenging. However, navigating the intricacies of sharing custody with the British royal family. Engelson, a highly accomplished film producer, crossed paths with Markle in 2004, initiating a passionate relationship which endured for a remarkable six years before culminating in their enchanting engagement in 2010. Meghan could have hurt Trevor deeply, which might have fueled the hate and controversy surrounding her. This perceived ruthlessness in ending their relationship, as described by Andrew Morton in his book, might have contributed to the negative sentiments and harsh criticisms Meghan has faced. 12. Kate Middleton While sibling rivalry is common, the drama between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle goes beyond that. Reports surfaced about tension between Kate and Meghan, which also strained Harry and William's relationship. The late Queen was reportedly so fed up that she ordered Kate and Meghan to sit down and sort things out. She offered Meghan help, but Meghan blatantly refused it. Kate, on the other hand, felt Meghan was using her to climb the royal ladder and remained very suspicious of her. There are controversial claims that Meghan made her sister-in-law, Kate, cry at a bridesmaid's dress fitting, despite Meghan telling Oprah Winfrey that the opposite occurred. Although Kate eventually sent Meghan flowers to apologize for making her cry on her wedding day, she remained hesitant about becoming close to Meghan. Observation over the years regarding Meghan Markle's behaviors shows that the Princess of Wales is not interested in any kind of relationship with her, let alone mending something that was never there in the first place. Kate, a very private person, always felt something was off about Meghan. As the tension grew, the royal family, including Kate, decided to cut off Meghan and Harry for spreading what they believed were lies about the royal family in an attempt to tarnish their legacy. Do you believe Meghan is just jealous of Kate's success and prominence, which are far greater than her own? 11. Erin Foster Erin Foster, a comedian, performer and writer, has been quite vocal about her disdain for Meghan Markle. Known for her sharp wit and willingness to call out celebrities, Foster did not hold back when it came to Meghan. In November 2017, she took to Instagram to post a photo of Meghan from her days on the game show Deal or No Deal. The caption read, Never Forget, clearly mocking Meghan's early career. Foster followed this up with another post, this time showing Meghan holding a briefcase from the same show. The caption was even more cutting. This briefcase is filled with my plans to become famous. Through these posts, Foster made it clear that she saw Meghan as nothing more than a fame-hungry social climber. She implied that Meghan had strategically plotted her rise to fame, using her relationships and opportunities to achieve her goals. Erin Foster's criticism did not stop with these Instagram posts. She has repeatedly suggested that Meghan Markle carefully orchestrated her public image and relationships to climb the social and celebrity ladder. Foster believes that Meghan's actions from her marriage to Prince Harry to her public statements are part of a calculated effort 
to gain and maintain fame. While Foster's posts initially drew criticism from some quarters, with people accusing her of being harsh or jealous, many others have come to see her perspective in light of subsequent events. As Meghan and Harry's actions have continued to generate headlines and controversy, some have looked back on Foster's early criticisms as prescient. Foster's willingness to speak her mind, even when it means going against popular opinion, has earned her both admirers and detractors. 10. Corey Vitello Next up, we have Corey Vitello, the Canadian celebrity chef who dated Meghan Markle before she became a household name. Corey and Meghan's romance kicked off around 2014. They were a hot item in Toronto, where Meghan was living while filming Suits. Corey's culinary skills were a hit with Meghan, and she often raved about him on her now-defunct lifestyle blog, The Tig, even calling him her favorite chef. Shortly afterwards, Corey ended the relationship he was in at the time and started to date Meghan, Bauer continued. Together, they rented a three-bedroomed home in the city's Annex district. Things seemed pretty serious between them. They shared a home and were spotted together at various events. But as Meghan's career took off, things got complicated. Meghan and Corey's relationship was already on shaky ground by the summer of 2016. That was when Meghan took a trip to London that would change everything. According to Tom Bauer's biography, Meghan was still living with Vitiello when she was set up on a date with Prince Harry in London in 2016. Yep, you heard that right. The date between Meghan and Prince Harry took place while she was still living with Corey. Their relationship hadn't officially ended, but Meghan's attention quickly shifted to her new royal romance. When she returned to Toronto, it was clear her relationship with Corey was over. Corey, understandably, was blindsided. Friends say he was hurt by how abruptly things ended and how quickly Meghan moved on. Despite the sudden breakup, Corey has stayed classy. He's never publicly disclosed his relationship with Meghan or how it ended. Instead, Corey has to focus on his culinary career, running successful restaurants in Toronto. While Meghan moved on to become a duchess, Corey stuck to what he loves, cooking, and has stayed out of the media spotlight. Corey's dignified silence has earned him a lot of respect. Meanwhile, Meghan's actions during their breakup have drawn some criticism and hate from the public. Could he be holding on to the pain? Let's hear what your thoughts are in the comments section. 9. Donald Trump And just when you think that's all, our very own Donald Trump has an even juicier reason for hating Meghan. Donald Trump has never been shy about expressing his feelings, and when it comes to Meghan Markle, he's made his stance crystal clear. Trump called Meghan disrespectful to Queen Elizabeth and said outright that he's not a fan of hers. He didn't mince words. From the start, he believed Prince Harry was being used terribly and predicted that Harry would regret his choices in the future. On The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore in 2016, Meghan referred to Trump as misogynistic and criticized his divisive politics, even stating she would move to Canada if he won the presidency. Trump responded, I didn't know that she was nasty. I hope she is okay. However, he later appeared to bury the hatchet saying, I am sure she will go excellently as a royal. She will be very good. Buckingham Palace had no comment on Trump's remarks regarding Markle. Trump also criticized Meghan for her involvement in US politics, particularly her push for Congress to include funding for paid leave in President Joe Biden's social spending bill. He viewed her actions as inappropriate and crossing the line. According to Trump, Meghan's influence has strained Harry's relationships with his family and hurt the Queen, adding yet another layer to the already complex saga of the royal family. 8. Bethany Frankel Bethany Frankel, known for her sharp wit on The Real Housewives of New York, didn't hold back on Meghan Markle. Before Meghan's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, Bethany took to Twitter to share her thoughts, responding with Cry Me a River to a tweet 
refusing to see Megan as a victim, instead suggesting that she's a shrewd opportunist. Bethany didn't stop there. She pointed out that Megan went from a relatively unknown actress to a lavish lifestyle with a crown and a seven-figure wedding, all in two years. Frankel felt that Megan's recent actions seemed more like an effort to maintain her celebrity status rather than a genuine desire for privacy. She suggested Megan's actions should be about avoiding the public eye and more about staying inside, also drawing comparisons to Princess Diana's tragic case. Bethany's opinion has caused a lot of controversy. Do you think she has a point, or do you think Meghan's struggle is more complicated than that? 7. Candace Owens Candace Owens, a prominent conservative commentator and political activist, has also been vocal about her hate for Meghan Markle's behaviour. Owens used her platform to express skepticism about Meghan and Harry's decisions, particularly their move away from royal duties and their public statements regarding their treatment by the media and royal family. Owens accused Meghan of playing the victim and using allegations of racism to justify her and Harry's choices. She argued that Meghan's privileged background as a former actress and member of the royal family did not align with the narrative of oppression she was promoting. Owens also criticized Meghan for wanting privacy while simultaneously seeking public attention through media appearances and interviews. In Owens' view, Meghan's actions were seen as contradictory and self-serving, which Owens highlighted on social media and in various interviews. Her commentary sparked debates among her followers and critics alike, reflecting broader discussions about race, privilege, and celebrity in contemporary society. 6. Katie Hopkins Speaking of controversial opinions, let's talk about Katie Hopkins. Katie Hopkins, a controversial British media personality known for her outspoken views, has not held back in criticizing Meghan Markle. Hopkins took to various platforms, including Twitter and media appearances, to express her hate for Meghan and Harry's decisions, particularly their departure from royal duties and relocation to the US. Hopkins referred to Meghan as Instagram addicted and dubbed her as an American Kate Middleton, suggesting she lacked the grace and authenticity of the Duchess of Cambridge. Hopkins also criticized Meghan for allegedly seeking privacy while still engaging in public appearances and seeking media attention. In response to Meghan and Harry's request for privacy, Hopkins provocatively remarked that if Meghan, who previously worked in public relations, couldn't understand the consequences of public life, she might not be suitable as a potential bride for Harry. Hopkins' critics were often laced with sarcasm and biting commentary, which resonated with her followers, but drew sharp criticism from Meghan's supporters. Hopkins' critiques of Meghan Markle often ignited heated debates on social media, with supporters applauding her blunt commentary, while detractors accused her of bias and insensitivity. Despite the controversy, Hopkins remained steadfast in her criticisms, arguing that Meghan's actions and statements deserved scrutiny and critique like any public figure. 5. Samantha Grant Moving on to Samantha Grant, Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister. Samantha has been a vocal critic of her sister since the news of Prince Harry's engagement to Meghan hit the headlines. Despite sharing a father, Samantha and Meghan grew up in different households due to their significant age gap. Samantha is about 17 years older than Meghan and have had minimal contact over the years. Samantha has been outspoken about her family dynamics, often portraying herself as having a closer relationship with their father, Thomas Markle Sr., compared to Meghan. Samantha has criticized Meghan for allegedly using her royal connection to boost her own fame and career. In Samantha's eyes, Meghan's narrative of struggling against the royal family's scrutiny was seen as an opportunistic move to gain sympathy and attention. In her tell-all book and numerous media appearances, Samantha's hate for Meghan is evident in her portrayal of her half-sister as calculating and self-serving. 
She claimed that Meghan had a history of manipulating situations to her advantage, even at the expense of family ties. Samantha's criticism wasn't just about Meghan's public persona, it also touched on personal grievances and perceived betrayals. Despite the backlash Samantha received for her outspokenness, she remained unwavering about her views. She argued that her perspective offered a more nuanced understanding of Meghan's character beyond the polished royal image presented to the public. 4. Lord Alan Sugar Now let's talk about Lord Alan Sugar, a prominent British business magnate and media personality. He hasn't been shy about sharing his skepticism towards Meghan Markle. Sugar raised eyebrows with his comments regarding Meghan's claims about her struggles with mental health during her high-profile interview with GB News. Lord Sugar publicly questioned Meghan's assertions, suggesting that if she had been genuinely struggling, the resources available within Buckingham Palace would have easily provided her with confidential medical support. He emphasized the discretion with which such matters are handled within the royal family, casting doubt on Meghan's statements. In Sugar's view, Meghan's revelations appeared to him as leveraging personal issues for public sympathy, which he viewed as potentially damaging to the monarchy's reputation. His remarks ignited controversy, with some supporting his skepticism and others criticizing him for questioning Meghan's sincerity. 3. Chrissy Swan Chrissy Swan, an Australian media personality, has been openly critical of Meghan Markle since Meghan's engagement to Prince Harry. Swan described Meghan Markle as someone who seemed to perform or act for the public, suggesting that Meghan's public persona might not align with her true self. From the outset, Chrissy Swan expressed doubts about Meghan's intentions and public persona. She often took to social media and public platforms to question Meghan's authenticity, describing her as someone who seemed to perform for the public rather than showing her true self. According to Chrissy, Meghan's demeanor appeared overly calculated with what she perceived as manufactured humility. This led Chrissy to critique Meghan's actions and statements, particularly as Meghan navigated her new role within the royal family. Chrissy Swan's commentary has sparked mixed reactions among the public. Some agree with her skepticism, seeing Meghan through a critical lens, while others defend Meghan, viewing Chrissy's critiques as overly harsh or unjustified. 2. Megan Kelly Megan Kelly, the well-known political commentator and talk show host, has been quite vocal about her opinions on Meghan Markle, especially following Meghan and Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Kelly's criticisms were direct and unfiltered, sparking plenty of debate. Shortly after the interview aired, Kelly took to Twitter, expressing her disbelief at Meghan and Harry's portrayal of their struggles. She tweeted, have you ever seen such privileged people wallowing in their own victimhood like this? Give me a break. This tweet alone set off a firestorm of reactions from both her supporters and critics. Kelly didn't stop there. During her appearance on Good Morning Britain, she expanded on her thoughts, arguing that Meghan seemed completely unaware of how her revelations would be received by the public. Kelly pointed out that many of Meghan's complaints such as feeling trapped in royal duties and the lack of support, were out of touch with what most people experience in their daily lives. She criticized Meghan for presenting herself as a victim, despite the immense privilege and platform she has. In addition to her comments on Good Morning Britain, Kelly also took the discussion to her own show, where she dissected the interview further. She accused Meghan of making complaints that were totally relatable to 99% of people, emphasizing the vast disconnect between Meghan's life and that of ordinary citizens. Meghan Kelly's sharp critique of Meghan Markle has certainly added fuel to the ongoing conversation about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. 1. Daniel Radcliffe Coming in as the last person on this list, the Harry Potter star is not just a household name for his acting talents, 
but also for his outspoken views on the British royal family, including Meghan Markle. While Radcliffe doesn't single out Meghan with the same intensity as some other celebrities, his perspective is still quite revealing. Daniel Radcliffe doesn't just dislike Meghan Markle, but has a general distaste for the entire royal family. Radcliffe has always been candid about his views on the monarchy, and Meghan Markle's entry into the royal fold only intensified his critique. He sees Meghan as a symbol of the larger issues within the institution. Daniel's sympathy for Meghan stems from his understanding of the immense pressure and scrutiny she faces, something he believes is exacerbated by the outdated and rigid structure of the monarchy. In interviews, Radcliffe has pointed out that the media's treatment of Meghan is a reflection of the deeper problems within British society and the royal institution itself. He acknowledges the harsh and often unfair spotlight Meghan is under suggesting that the monarchy's traditionalist and often elitist nature only fuels the negative narrative surrounding her. So, even though Daniel Radcliffe doesn't harbour the same personal hate as others on this list, his critical view of the monarchy inevitably places Meghan in the crosshairs, making his perspective an essential part of understanding the broader backlash she faces. From family tensions to media scrutiny, Meghan's journey from actress to royal has been marked by controversy and critique. Whether you believe she's a victim of unfair press or a calculated social climber, one thing is clear. Meghan Markle's impact on the royal family and public opinion continues to spark debate. What are your thoughts on Meghan Markle? Do you think the criticism is justified or is it a product of media sensationalism? Let us know in the comments below.